one of the previous videos, we saw how to do the socket shield for a upper lateral incisor and place the implant. And when we achieved a torque of 25 newton centimeters, we decided that we make a provisional immediately on that implant. In this video, we'll see how to make that provision. First of all, why you need to make a provision on the same day? When you're replacing single teeth, if you make a provision on the same day, you are able to maintain the overall support for the soft tissue and initiate the emergence of the final restoration from the day of implant surgery itself. So the soft tissue maturation is very good. In this case, the provision acts as a scaffold for the soft tissue to heal well and provide you a good emergence for the final restoration. There are various ways in which a provision can be made. In this video, we will see a simple technique in which we make a screw retained provision using a temporary plastic cylinder. That's it. That cylinder has to be tightened onto the implant manually. The screw access is packed with a Teflon tape. And then, using a putty index from a preoperative wax up, the uh, provision can be made intraorally with materials such as ProTemp 4 or any equivalent BIS GMA material. Once a putty index is used to carry the material to the mouth and the material sets, when you remove the putty index, you will be left behind with the uh, provisional now adhered to the plastic cylinder. Your goal is to take a small bird, gain access to the screw access hole and unscrew the entire assembly from within the uh, implant and then shape the provision in the correct manner. shaping of these provisionals extra orally, you have to be careful on not over countering these restorations. One of the major goals of successful partial extraction therapy is to have the label counter of the provisional not impinging on the shield at all so that you leave enough space between the shield and the provisional for soft tissue in growth. This is one of the biggest mistakes that is made in the designing of the provisional restorations. The graphic here will depict how you have to shape the provisional uh, with a, a concave subcritical contour so that you allow for that space to be there.
So in this video, we have seen how to make a stool retained provisional restoration on an implant after partial extraction therapy. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comment section and we will definitely try to answer them. Thank you.